Welcome to the new facility. This is Give it. a tour. We're at the new spot. We want to unveil. Show you a couple things we're about to move in. Full size bathrooms, full size locker room. Full size fertigation room. State of the art. Took everything we learned the past five years, brought in Demeter Designs to put the cap on it. And what you see is the finishing touches on what is a fertigation room, the same size as we use in 40th Street right now, our original building, except for the fact that it's powering a building 5X at size. Really good stuff, come on. Get ready. Double decker veg, man. This is the future right here. Lux hooked us up, got us the 200 watt LED bars, as you're seeing here. And this is the next level. So all of our vegetative growth in this building is gonna come from this room right here. Take an in-depth look at flower room two. We're putting the final touches on it right now. 77 lights. 77 lights. Biggest room we have at 40th Street, our current building is 40 lights. The efficiency in this room, we took everything we learned over the past five years, and you're really looking at it here, and it's only upwards from here. So we can keep this room 60 degrees, we can keep this room 80 degrees, we can keep the humidity at 65, we can keep the humidity at 25. Anything we wanna do in these rooms, we can do. We're gonna be controlling the environment and the feed to the day. No exceptions, quality to the next level. This is everything we came to do is right in these rooms right here. Let's go look at some more. When Mike and I were talking about expanding a few years ago, cause we were always selling out. I'm not sure we envisioned being in a building this big, but uh, here we are. we're definitely ready. Let's go look at the Fino room. This is really important to GS. This is really important to everybody. So one of the things that's gonna keep GS relevant and make us stand out in the future is genetics. Whether we're making it our own or we're pheno hunting, whatever it looks like, this is a dedicated room just for that. The entire purpose of this room is to find new genetics and keep 18 to 25 flavors of flour and rosin on the shelves at all time for you guys. That's okay. it. Mike came up with this phrase at the beginning when we were talking about what is GS about? It was delighting the consumer. It's stayed with us since day one. This room is like the epitome of that statement. It only exists to delight the consumer. There's no revenue from this. This is a loss. We're gonna spend money to do this and a lot of it, but this is for you guys, so. Really excited. Not sure if you guys have seen what 30,000 gallons of water storage looks like, but get ready. Mikey, how long would it take you to drink all this? I'd have to get a really big straw. Well said, well said. This whole room just exists to create RO water. Six 5,000 gallon tanks and they pump back to that fertigation room that we just showed you in the beginning of this whole thing. So all this is is clean water storage. It doesn't take 30,000 gallons of water a day to power this building, but we wanted to have redundancy. So we have plenty of that now with this and it only helps us to be more successful in our mission. Let's go look at some more flowering rooms. That's the room we'd move into if there's an apocalypse as well. Water is life. Also true. <laughs> Don't look now, but behind that wall is phase two. Tables are getting put in right now. Final touches on the rooms. This room's completely done. Go on in. Team did a really nice job 
Running these so lines. our team did all of the plumbing installation, right? All of the plumbing installation and the table installation was done by our team. And Nick, our cultivation manager, took everything to the 16th of an inch accuracy. And I know that's right up Mike's alley because he's a precision-based individual. And this is done. I couldn't be more proud of what the team did in here. It's unbelievable. And frankly, they did it before air conditioning was finally installed, which means they were working in about 100 degree weather in here, which makes it only just that much more unbelievable. But we have the best team in the game. Everyone knows that. These are our last three flowering rooms down here of phase one. So there's nine flowering rooms in phase one. There's seven more flowering rooms coming in phase two. It's like a never ending kaleidoscope. It's, it's crazy. Right now we put out about 400 pounds a month total. That's between flour, rosin, all of our products. We're about to be putting out about 2000 pounds a month, but get ready for all the new products, guys. We're not just coming with the same thing we started with. Unbelievable. Yeah, these rooms are gonna crush. I'm, we're ready to go, no question about it. This is the new flowering row, guys. Mike and I are super excited to bring this to y'all. We'll be that, in next week, I think. That brain in there has got a lot of big stuff planned for the rest of this year and the years after that. So get ready. As always, thank you for your continued support. Y'all made this happen. This doesn't happen without you guys. So every decision we make takes you into account. Get ready. We're going to show you phase two here in about a month as that finishes up. Phase one's coming online in the next few days. And uh, Arizona, get ready. Hell yeah. See you soon.